Snyder and today we are going to knit an adult size hat on a round loom and we're going to use I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby I'm going to double the strand it's a number four size yarn um, it's right here just a neutral color and again it's I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby and instead of one strand I'm gonna take two to make it a little bit more chunky so let's get starting a slip knot and in case you don't know how to make a slip knot you take the yarn and I do have another video on it and you cross I'll get real close cross like that pull up on this part of the yarn and sl slip the other slip the other part through and pull down just to make this look just like that and again we'll do it again take your finger make an X pull up put this part through and pull just to make it look just like that then we're going to attach it to our anchor peg which is right here on the loom if your loom does not have an anchor peg just choose a peg to start with so if this wasn't here I would just want to start right here and you just attach it and you tighten it not too tight but not too loose just like that I'm going to show you up close with the smaller loom the e-wrap cast on as you can see I already made my slip knot and I attached it to my anchor peg and then I'm going to wrap around each peg and make the letter E. This can go fairly quick. This is a 24 peg loom. I make all of my baby hats on this. Usually I can make them within a half an hour normally depending on how many times I get stopped. Okay, so once you wrap the first line of stitches, you push them down just like that. You see that? Make sure they're all pushed down because we're going to make another line of stitches. So we need room for the second row. Push that down. See, as you can see, it can get moving pretty quick. Oops. And if you don't hold the yarn, as you just saw, it can easily slip off the peg. So I always try and hold it if I can. So I'm back to the anchor peg. I'm going to put my yarn down. And then I'm going to take my yarn tool and put the bottom over the top
And like I said, this usually goes quick. I'm just trying to make sure I get the angle so you can see it clear. So the bottom over the top. When you're done with that, we're going to push this down. And see inside, there's a pretty little knit. That's your first cast on. That's that's actually your cast on. So then we're going to start the next row. And what I do when I'm making a baby hat, which I'm going to have another video, I usually make 10 rows for my brim and then I fold it over. But again, I will do that in another video. I just wanted to show you up close on a small loom what a cast on, an e-wrap cast on looks like. I wrapped around, did my cast on, did the bottom loop over the top. So we have one row going of that. So now we are going to continue this process of just doing a basic e-wrap around the loom. Just like this. I hope that it helps seeing it on the smaller loom too. Again, I'm just trying to give you the best view possible because I know it can be confusing. And again, these are just small E's. Whoops. Okay. We're going to work from left to right now. So start with the bottom over the top again. I love this loom and this pattern because pretty much anyone can do this. You don't have to have experience. I actually cannot work with needles, with knitting needles at all. Um, well, maybe a little, but it doesn't really turn out to be much of anything. So again, this is really good. This is the Nifty Knitter loom. Um, I heard that they no longer sell it, but you can get the similar exact loom. I've seen it at Pacatan's and Michael's. You can get the whole entire kit of round looms. For I believe fifteen dollars. They aren't as heavy as the as uh, the nifty knitter looms are, but they still do the same. They're used for the same purpose, and that's for hats. You can make hats, gloves. I make slipper socks, booties. A doll and baby hats, as you see. And here you go. This row is done. So again, we're going to push this down. 
and make room for the next e wrap. Okay. Just like that. So we want to have all these pushed down. So then we're going to do another row of e wrap. And we're going to do this. I usually make it for. I usually make my adult hats for about eight inches, eight and a half inches to part. But what what you do is you take enough yarn to wrap around the loom on the outside of the pegs. I'm going to show you how to bind off. And you come back to the anchor peg and then you add, I add about an inch and a half after that. I already threaded my tapestry needle to save time. So I'm going to show you. We start, start by looping through and pulling the yarn through the next the next loop your tension shouldn't be very tight on this so it should be easy to do and you just go all the way around the loom putting your tapestry needle through and pulling it off. Now after you get so many through the loop you'll want to take them off the hook. That one's caught. Just like this. Only do the ones you've put the thread through. Off the hook like that. Continue to do pulling up through the looms, and you'll want to go all the way around, like I said, back to the anchor peg, pulling the ones off that you've done. So we've done this. And again, it just gives you a little bit more leeway when you're pulling the hat, the yarn string, we'll pull it together. Let's see. We have taken all of the stitches off of the loom. This is my working yarn that I've worked my way through on each of the pegs. You're going to take the working, the working yarn and pull it and close up the hole. Then you're going to take your tapestry needle right here and stick it through the middle and bring it out on the other side of the hat because you're going to work this in. Work this. It's really simple. Just through a couple times make sure it's enough to hold to keep the the hole tightened and closed I just go around once and then an extra one Just like that. 
so if you see the hole is now closed on the top we need to make one more with a with a knot I usually just make go in and then take my working yarn through the big loop and pull all the way down. See I'm making the knot. Go through it again. And then I can take my scissors and cut. So it looks like that. Then we have this, which is from the start on the anchor peg. And you will want to weave this in. And you can do that also with a tapestry needle or a crochet hook people have done that with and what you do is you just weave it in a couple times and then you'll cut your yarn and I can show you the tip of the day is when your tapestry needle gets weak you'll want to throw it away. Otherwise, it'll break in half, like my earlier. Like that happened to me earlier in the middle of something. Um, you'll just want to go through, pull, just work it in. See, and you can't even see it on the other side, so it's hidden and it's stable. Then I'm going to knot it off. So I put a knot in it. And then I tuck it into the brim so it's completely hidden. And I can just go like this. And that is the end of that yarn. And our hat is done. It's finished. If you have any questions, please comment. And if you'd like, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I thank you so much for your support and I hope you have a great day.